tonight, number 12 tonight, is a light cruiserweight title. Being fought over three three minute rounds. Kieran Smith getting the final inspection here from the cut team. Paddy Gale, the opponent of Kieran Smith. Local man from Balamina. Walking, walking to the ring with purpose here, Phil. Very focused. I've seen Paddy compete before and a real hallmark of his fighting style is that calm, cool, collected. You know, he's, he's been in here before, he knows what this is about. He's not one of these fighters you see expelling unnecessary energy. Very calculated in his movement, in his motion, very, very smart. Cerebral, I believe would be the right word. In the same breath, Kieran Smith is no slouch at all. Final instruction being given by head coach Lee Balmer. Kieran Smith, however, light on the feet, ready to go. Fight scheduled for three three minute rounds. for this one, Mr. Marty Case. Cruiser, we a title here up for grabs. Who can establish themselves early here? Okay, there's that trademark calm we're seeing from Gale. And serious yeah. Gale force behind those punches. Kieran Smith having to weather the early storm from Gale. Very good, Phil. Thank you. Both fighters landing some straight shots early. That's a nice job from Smith. Good work in the clinch. Big swing and a miss over the top from Gale. He's almost implementing that Philly shell when he's when he's backing out. Yeah. Keeping himself safe. Just a little bit messy at the start from both guys, like 
like I said on earlier points, they, they're, they're both trying to settle into the, the, the flow and cadence of the fight. It's, it's, it's very hard to throw clean hooks when your opponent is essentially chest to chest, chest with you. Chest to chest, yeah. I'd like to see Smith just kind of try and set up a nice right hand here over, just over the top of the jab. Nice work to the body. Good shot on the exit there from Smith. I like that. Good set up again with, it, with his first attack. Good solid one too. But Gale is just one of those constant forward, nice forward too. fighters. Like he'll eat a three-piece combination and just still be in your face. What Smith needs to do and get really apt at doing is landing his shots and then getting right out of the pocket yeah. because Gale will fire back instantaneously. Yeah. There's boys right in front of us filming on their phone. They obviously didn't get the pay-per-view link. <laughs> Outstanding work being done here by our friends at Arc Media. Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Smith just on the break. Land it clean on the chin. Oh, another good shot from Smith. I'd like to see Smith just try and time in a couple of nice right hands. Keel just kind of has a bit of a lazy jab there just as, as, the, as the, the rounds are going through. Yeah. He's kind of just dropping it down a wee bit after, after it lands. I think Smith should try and read this. Try and get a right hand down there. Neither fighters, you, you, you can see what each fighter is trying to do, yeah. but they haven't really been able to get it off because of the distance at which they've been fighting. Yeah. Getting ready for round two of a scheduled three. I do get the feeling that if Smith can establish that range, land his shots and get out of the pocket, he could start making things very, very difficult for Gale. Very difficult. Nice one-two hook there. This is the movement I'm talking about. Land your shots, get out, circle away. The adaptations being made here by Smith are very, very smart. Yeah. That's beautiful work. On away, nice turn there. This is what I'm enjoying. Almost like he was listening to me in between rounds. Almost. But Gale, as much to his credit, is always dangerous. It's like glove malfunction, perhaps? Or has he hurt his hand? Oh, it's just a malfunction on the glove. Yeah. There's an issue with the gloves, just take them off, lads. Let's go, bare knuckle. <laughs> yeah, and that was just enough there to break the momentum that Smith was having there. Mm. Gale's coming on now. Just reset in the centre, let's see him. St oh, that glove. Is that a glove or is, has is he hurt the glove his hand? He that He's wringing it out as if there's a problem with the rest of the hand. I think it's the, I hope it's the glove. I hope it's the glove as well. Yeah, he's pushing that hand into the glove there. Maybe just a padding on the, mm. on the knuckles maybe sliding a bit, or the glove maybe just not tight enough. Yeah, this is what oh, good left hook there from Gale. This is what happens when you bulk by from Nuts Corner. <laughs> you, I'm loving that pivot step just to get yeah. himself out of danger. Nice. I know that's something that you teach at nauseam, Ian. Yeah. It gives you room you don't have that little pivot step at times. Shout out Evolution Boxing Club.
and you get the feeling that Smith, uh, the, the more this fight progresses, the more confidence Smith's becoming. Yeah. Good combinations are from Smith, but Gale is still coming for him. Just can't pin him down here in this round. It's giving Matador and Bull kind of Bull vibes. Bull and Matador vibes, exactly. Exactly. Nice solid one two there again from Smith. He needs to get out of there. He needs to get out of that pocket. Gale just feeling the pace here a wee bit. Final 10 seconds again. We talk about marginally better rounds. For, this was an exponentially better this round for Smith. This a very good round for Smith. Now the only thing that I think could be a, a difference maker in this round is fatigue. Can Kieran yeah. Smith maintain that type of movement, that type of light on the, the, the feet kind of approach going into the third and final mind round? These three three-minute rounds really do take their toll they on They take their toll on you, yeah, definitely do. That was a very, very high pace set by Smith. Whoa! We nearly had a cut, man. Or a cut man flying out of the ring. <laughs> Jackie Boy near ended up on his backside. Third and final round of this cruiserweight title fight between Kieran Smith and Paddy Gale. Very, very interesting third round now, I hope. Can Smith maintain the pace, maintain control? Or can Gale turn the tide here? And he's still, he's looking good. Light, he's nice and light on his feet. I just don't want to see him over. I don't. What happens a lot of the time when you're fatigued is you overcommit the shots. I don't want to see that happen. That's, That's a nice, nice little hook. Good one two there again. Nice left hook, but it was taken on the gloves there by Gale, who just comes back. Yeah. And again, come. Gale gets in with a nice left hook there. There's another one. This is not where Smith wants to be. He doesn't want to be in a dog fight. It suits Gale down to the ground. Again, constantly keeping himself square with his opponent, so smart. And like we saw in earlier fights, when we see fighters circling in the same direction constantly, Smith's doing a great job of left and right and, and switching his movement. Yep. Like to see Smith just keep that chin down there a wee bit. Just as we're in the final stages here of the fight. Good right hand, taking on the gloves there again, Bakil. He answers with an uppercut inside there. Smith needs to get himself out of there. Nice one, two. There we go. Gale is not going to make this closing stanza easy for him at all. If he is to win this fight and indeed the belt, it will be hard earned. Gale is a gamer. Smith just taking a big breath there, coming out of the clinch. Oh, he got He's caught with a cheeky little hook there. And again, that glancing hook, edging ever closer for Gale. Oh, good right hand over the top there from Gale. Nice movement here again from Smith. Has he evaded a right hook there? Like, 
I'm not sure if it's, if it's fatigue or just gameness, but you have to give credit to Smith for engaging in these kind of positions. Absolutely, and again... Because he doesn't not, need to. It's not the coolest under them lights either. That's a great point, Ian Mahood. Final 10 seconds. Grandstand finish here, fighters fight. If I'm Smith, I'm just holding on here. Yeah. Fantastic well fight. Done. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion we know who's going to take the decision and indeed the belt, but that is up to our ringside judges and we will throw it up to our MC for the official decision. Um, interesting decision would be would be my summation of what we just saw in the hood. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I'm honest, I believe Smith did enough to I win that. I thought Smith did enough to win that fight, also. But it just means we get to run it back next show. We have to run it back again, and the next one, that's it.